You don't really need to know multiple programming languages, do you? What's going on everybody? It's your boy Kilo Loco and today I'm going to be going over the topic of whether you should know multiple programming languages or are you fine with just sticking to one programming language? So I usually get asked this question by two different types of people. Now, the first type of person is usually somebody that's just coming into the field. They're an aspiring developer. They see programming life is it's amazing, quite elegant, quite beautiful. And they want in on it. And I don't blame them because being a programmer is pretty cool. But the problem is, is that they're going on the Internet and they're finding all kinds of different things. People saying all kinds of different things on what you should learn first. You should learn this. You should learn that. You should learn this other thing. You know, you should learn all the different JavaScript frameworks or whatever. Right. And it gets kind of confusing to a beginner, somebody that's just aspiring. Right. And they're thinking, well, I'm going to have to learn this. I'm going to have to learn that. It's such a hard thing to do. Oh, my God. And um, that's the first type of person that you know, usually runs into this problem because they just get so much information and they think that, you know, they have to learn all these different things, all these different programming languages. Now, the other type of person that uh, usually has this problem is somebody that has been doing development for oh, maybe like a year, two years, and they know this language pretty well, whatever the language is. And now they're thinking, hey, um, I might be switching career or I might be switching jobs or whatever it is. And, you know, there's these new things popping up here and there. Do I need to learn another programming language? Do I need to learn the new hotness? Right. And it always really comes down to it depends. Yep, that's right, guys. It depends like some old people diapers. And I know that you're tired of hearing that type of answer. It depends. You know, nobody wants to hear that it depends, but it really does. So I'm going to break it down on a really personal level for you so that you can know what's best for your particular situation. So if you're the type of person that's going to go out and get a job and you really don't care who's going to hire you, you just want to get a job. I want to get my foot in the door. I want, I'll go work for anybody as long as they can pay the bills. Right? So if you're going to go out there and you're just going to go work for anybody, you know, most likely you're probably going to get lucky at a smaller company. If you're in that type of situation where you just need to go out there and get work, because the most likely situation is that you probably don't have any experience. So if you're just willing to go out there and just work for somebody, you're probably going to end up at a smaller company. Now, a smaller company is most likely going to be like a, a startup or a company with very limited funds. And a small company may need a developer. That's you to do multiple jobs, which means that you might have to know multiple languages. So if you are planning on going to work for a small company or if you're in the situation to where you think that you want to work for yourself, you want to be an indie dev, you want to go out and make your own applications, whatever it is, then most likely you're going to have to learn uh, more than one programming language. And it's going to come along with a lot of other technologies that you're probably going to have to learn, too. But yes, you're most likely going to have to learn multiple programming languages. And this might not always be the case. You know, you might go to a small company that can afford to hire the different developers. But, you know, you can also run into the situation where they don't understand what it is that actually needs to be built. They just know that they want to do some type of, you know, like social networking app. And they don't realize that a social networking app requires like a back end and it requires, you know, it to be on multiple platforms, cross platform development and stuff like that. So if you think that you're going to end up in a situation to where you're going to go work for like such a small company that you're going to have to wear so many different hats, then yeah, you probably do want to learn more than one programming language as long as you know one really well first. So everything is just based on the fact that you know one programming language really well first. If you don't know one programming language like well enough first, then it doesn't make sense for you to go out and try to learn five different programming languages and you don't even know how to write a for loop. Right. So it, it just doesn't make sense. So make sure you know how to do one programming language first. And then at that point, then if you're going into that type of situation, indie development or small business, then yes, you might need to learn a second programming language. Now, if you're on the other end of the spectrum, you're like, nah, bro, I need some benefits. I need to get that paper. 
then more likely than not, if you're going to go to a medium or a high level company, then they're not going to need you to really know all kinds of different languages because you're probably going to get hired for some very specific position. A medium to large company is going to be able to pay multiple developers that specialize in very specific things. They don't want, you know, Mr. Jack of all trades that doesn't know how to do something, you know, the best way. They want somebody that knows how to do it the best way, but may not be able to do it all the different other crazy things that you might know how to do. Right. So in those types of situations, it makes sense that you just kind of stick to one language. Um, and that's not to say that you can't learn another language. It just means that if you're asking this question, like, do I need to know another language? The answer is no, you don't need to know another language because the companies that you're going to work for are going to be able to hire somebody for that specific use case. So let's talk real quickly about why it makes sense for almost everybody to learn multiple programming languages. So one of the biggest benefits to learning multiple programming languages and different frameworks and working with different technologies is just the fact that you're constantly consuming all kinds of different knowledge. Now, with that said, what's going to happen is you're going to be experiencing these different languages that have these different, you know, types of mindsets and different ways to solve problems. And the awesome thing about that is that when you start solving problems in different ways, using different languages and different technologies, some of that stuff is going to leak into the other areas of your life. Like, you know, whatever you learn on language B might be able to be applied to language A. And now it's actually going to make you a better developer because you might know a new way to solve a problem. You're getting real unique with it. Oh, yeah. So learning a different language and seeing what other techniques and strategies are used in that other language can help you understand how to improve yourself in your original programming language. And it's going to just make you all around better developer. And on top of that, you're probably going to be able to do a lot more cool stuff, make you know, more well-rounded and further reaching apps too, because you'll probably be able to reach more people, right? Because you know, these two different things. So I hope that answers your question. Do you have to learn another programming language? No, not really. Is it going to be beneficial to learn multiple programming languages? Absolutely. So that's going to be all for today, guys. I hope you liked the video and make sure you head over to kilolococom Check out that membership. I got a couple of courses up for sale. I think you might like them. So with that little shameless plug out the way, I'm going to get out of here. All right, guys, go out there. Keep coding passionately.